Hi folks, I want to talk about the rope in the Delphi case and get some of your thoughts around it. The rope, like many things in this case, was rumoured for years. This case had, and still has, some many disturbing rumours. Some turned out to be to have a bit of truth in them, others not so much. But the rope was something I had down as, that's weird but I doubt it's true. Why would a rope be involved in such a vicious, violent crime? So I kind of thought the rope was probably something that wasn't true. It didn't really make sense to me that someone would bring a rope to a crime that was so violent and vicious. Robert Ives, the prosecutor at the time, did say that there is more physical evidence at the scene than people might think. What could that be? Is he, is he including sticks in that, I wonder? But the rope definitely falls into that, obviously. And I also think there is more to come out. Things that will confuse people a bit. But also will make some other things make a bit more sense. And it wasn't until the memorandum in support of the Frank's motion that I was like, oh my god, the rope is true. Richard Allen's defence team alluded to a rope and one of the girls being hung upside down on a tree by her feet. I'm not sure about that, but in the list of exhibits, and that whole list, by the way, is very cheeky and one of the many things that annoy people about Richard Allen's defence team and something they cite as them stepping over the line. I think they're just doing their job. And in this list of exhibits, they got a lot of information out there. They did this by describing the confidential photos instead of saying, oh, 401, 402. Same with the Facebook posts and everything really except autopsy photos, which is important and I'll come back to. But instead of just having a number for the photos, they actually described what the photos were. And there's no doubt that the Franks document was written for the public and not for a judge. Maybe that's why Judge Gull didn't read it. Personally, bear the bit where they described the redressing. I think that's poorly written. And some of the exaggerations do devalue some of the things in there that isn't exaggerated. But overall, I still think it is probably one of the most extraordinary documents I have ever seen filed in a case pre-trial. I don't think Baldwin or Rosie are rats. I don't think they're clowns like some people think they are. I think they're very good at their job and they're doing what they have to do. I think if you, the person watching this video, had your neck on the line like this, for something you did or even you didn't do you'd have no problem with pulling a stunt like this it's brazen it's borderline unethical it's shameful in parts but it's not illegal and it's probably in richard allen's best interests i said from very early on that rick allen got very lucky with these guys things can go wrong when it comes to public attorneys but lucky little ricky is getting a defense that would cost a couple of million if they were private attorneys. He's getting them for free. And I'll be honest, when Rick was first arrested, I was like, I hope he gets good attorneys. I hope he gets a fair trial. But then when he got these guys and you look into him, it's very annoying. I was hoping they were a bit unlikable because they're on the bad guy team, allegedly. But within a few minutes of looking into these guys, I was like, oh, I I said I wanted him to have good attorneys, but not this good. And I don't blame Nick at all for wanting to get rid of them. I would do the same. But back to the rope. There was a rope at the crime scene. And in the exhibits, there is a photo of a yellow rope tied to a tree. If anyone is about to jump down my throat in the comments, saying this could be crime scene tape or unrelated to the crime, it's not. I have, since the Franks, been shown a conversation from four years ago in 2020 in which a verified connection to someone who lives close by and was part of the search party who found the girls was also talking about the rope. I didn't have this conversation before the Franks, even though it was four years ago. I honestly don't gatekeep much information on this channel, especially if I think it's true. There is one or two things that I have a reason for not wanting to yap in public mainly because I can't confirm it and even that stuff, most of that is somewhere on a members tab because I want to chat and get people's thoughts. 
I'm not a know-it-all. I learn a lot from subscribers and members. But the rope is true. I'm 100% confident in that. And I don't think crime scene techs are going to tie a rope to a tree and then take a picture of it. I think that's how it was found. I also don't think, for some reason, this was there at the crime scene and is unrelated to the crime and that it's some coincidence the girls ended up with it. In my opinion, it was definitely brought there by the person or people who did this crime. Why, I do not know. Is this what BG had in his pocket when he crossed the bridge? A little yellow rope. He had a lot of things in that jacket, apparently, or else he has the items ready in a spot. A rope also kind of screams premeditation, doesn't it? Forget the gun and a knife for a second. Who goes for a walk with a rope in their jacket? Oh, I'll just take this rope. You never know, I might need it on my casual lunchtime walk. It just screams premeditation to me. And I think, I think it's a fantastic piece of evidence. If you're a detective and you see a rope at a scene, you're probably kind of happy about it, as well as being a bit disturbed. You have fibres galore. Wherever that rope was stored beforehand should have fibres there. There's a good chance you can make a direct connection to the crime scene, which is huge. Not as easy to process as CSI Miami might lead you to believe. But think about a rope going through someone's hands who's not wearing gloves. That's a lot of skin cells and sweat coming off. What Richard Allen's defence team is alleging was done with this rope is extremely disturbing. And you were talking about a truly insane amount of time doing this at the crime scene. If that did happen, there would be clear ligature marks on Abby's feet from the hanging. And I'm sorry for putting these disturbing images in your head, but that's the reality, unfortunately. This is a true crime channel. If any of those girls were hanging upside down, there is definitely ligature marks on their feet. If the rope is around their wrist and they were being dragged by the rope, there's going to be marks there also. But this was not called out in the description of the autopsy photos in the exhibits. Would they have, if the marks were there and I helped their narrative? Reading some of the exhibits, I'm like, yes, they would have definitely called it out if they were there. I think they just say photo of autopsy showing ligature marks. But the crime scene and autopsy photos are all listed as the same. So is this the defence team showing some bit of restraint? Is that where they draw the line? Or are they not saying it because there are no marks? Another thing that makes me think that there may not be rope ligature marks is the FBI saying there's no visible signs of a struggle or a fight. Do they mean at the crime scene or after an autopsy? I don't know. But I would class any rope or ligature marks as being a visible sign of a struggle, wouldn't you? And like I said, if there are some sort of marks on the feet, on the ankles, it may not be visible at the crime scene, but, you know, it's going to be visible at any autopsy. I don't know, but I do know to fully understand the rope you need to look at, is there any ligature marks on the girls? Newton's third law, action and reaction, it will leave a mark. One possible use of the rope is it was used to control and move the girls from down the hill to across the creek. Like the rope tied around the wrists, for example. I don't think that is the case for two reasons. They said there was no signs of a struggle, so don't be telling me no signs of a struggle if there's clear ligature marks on a wrist, for example. That's a sign of a struggle for me. And Liggett said that he believes that at one stage... Both girls were nude and forced to take off their clothes in the commission of the crime. They won't be able to do that if they have their wrists tied up. And even if one is tied, you still have to, someone would have to cut off their clothes if the rope is around the wrist. And I don't think the clothes have slip marks like that, but I could be wrong. This case is so disturbing. Like, what kind of terror did the poor girls go through? I don't know. But I know it's it's as bad as anything I think I've ever come across. Out of nowhere, they were singing their favourite songs on the radio on the way to the trail when they were being dropped off by Kelsey. And an hour later, something is happening involving this rope and a knife. And it's a nightmare. Could there be a more simple reason and less horrific reason for the rope? Is this a botched kidnapping that is staged to look like something else? 
the rope originally intended to be used to tie up the girls and I don't know chuck them into the back of a van or something maybe like but why is it tied around a tree why was it found tied around a tree was it tied around a tree because one person did this and he was attacking one girl so he tied the other one to a tree so she couldn't run away she froze in absolute shock at what was happening so there's no ligature marks or signs of a struggle and that might be a lone wolf sign would you need to do that if there's two or more people there is the rope just a red herring something that someone just put at the scene to make it look like something else i am pretty desperate to find another use for that rope other than what the defense team is suggesting and we need more context we need to know about ligature marks we need to know about the tree that the rope is tied to what the branches above that tree look like like in relation to someone possibly hanging the rope over there or tying it to a low branch like that rope is tied to a tree but is that rope going to go up the tree if it was thrown over a branch and weight was applied to that or is there something in the way that would make that tree ideal for something like that it's very disturbing you need to see the tree to get a better understanding and also the amount of blood that was found underneath that tree but also a key part of understanding is the ligature marks that will tell a story are there any ligature marks and where i'm very interested in your thoughts is there any scenario or use of the rope that is simple that i'm missing out on here is it a coincidence that in some of the images of the hanged man the rope in the image is also yellow because because that's annoying if it is how common is yellow rope in the area where do you go to buy yellow rope i've never seen yellow rope in a shop but i don't buy much rope does it even matter that it's yellow like why do people buy this yellow rope is it different to the blue rope i have no idea i'm hoping someone watching this video does there's a lot of things in this case the more you know the more you realize how much you don't know let me know your thoughts and thanks for watching until the end and thank you also to new members on youtube and patreon all and any support is very much appreciated good luck god bless i hope everyone has a nice day